So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gamer Genus TV. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to be playing Empire Total War today. I hope you're excited about it because I am stoked. I haven't played this game in a while, and I know you guys absolutely loved it. It is by far my most popular playthrough on my channel. So hopefully, whether you're watching it here on Twitch or over on YouTube after the fact, I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Da, 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 da. Ladies and gentlemen, the road to independence is paved with the bones of our enemies. Let's you and I march together. Episode 1, The Jamestown Colony. In April 1607, three Virginia Company sails sh ships sailed into Chesapeake Bay under the command of Captain Christopher Newport. They made landfall on the southernmost peninsula in the bay, naming it Cape Henry in honor of the Prince of Wales. Life for the early settlers was far from easy, even though they ruled themselves. Newport returned to England for supplies, leaving Captain John Smith, an acquitted mutineer, in charge. With limited food supplies, the constant present of, presence of disease, and the danger of attack by the native tribes, many of the settlers perished within a few months of reaching the New World. If this new community is to flourish, they will need food in the shape of farms and fisheries. A cash crop like tobacco will provide the financial viability of the colony to those back home in New England. In back home in New England, where the Patriots played and the antelope made spaghetti. And much needed income for the settlers. Complacency, however, is dangerous. The native tribes remain a threat. It seems a bit loud, so we're gonna go check that real quick. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. Jump back into the campaign. Let's do this. Artillery adds dignity to what would otherwise be an ugly brawl, said Frederick II, the great king of Prussia. Hope you guys are having fun. I know I'm about to. This is one of my favorite games, even though I haven't played it in a while. Transported back to Bunker Hill in Our June 1775. Tonight. In Boston, brave men fight for the right to govern themselves. You fight, fight on. Tonight, we fight for freedom. Freedom! As I bear witness to the sacrifice of this generation, I take great comfort in the memory of our forefathers, those pioneering men who traveled to these shores seeking a new life. Like the intrepid Captain John Smith and his fellow settlers, we too seek a new world. Not only for ourselves, but for future generations of Americans. As I look back on their endeavors, at the unknown dangers that awaited the pioneers over every rise and behind every tree, I am reminded that I play but a small part in a much greater story. Them boomsticks. The Powhatans are attacking. Ready yourselves, men. Fire! And they're fleeing. Guns are vicious. Cover, man. Infantry. Uh, this seems that pretty straightforward. Standard. Hold the line. Hold the line. Here they come, boys. Give them a volley. Quickly. They need a volley. Give him one. Oh god. No wait. Fire on these guys. Fire on them boys! Right. 
Everybody's in guard mode, so they're gonna hold their ground. Everybody's in fire at will mode as well. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing. Uh oh, they have cavalry. The chieftain! Let's shoot this guy. Ah. Let's see what's going down in the trenches. Make them run, boys! Flee for the lives! Actually, I probably could have just ended that. Go off. Fast forward it. Chase them down! The advantage, typically, in hitting continue is that you can pick up and kill any stragglers. I don't think that's really needed in this mode. Decisive victory. Oh, look at that. I deployed 105 men, only lost 11. The power of gunpowder. It's quite evident. Hail to the chief in triumph advances. Alright, fast forward a few years backwards. From the very beginning, there have been hardships, irreplaceable losses. Brothers, fathers, sons lost to war, famine, and disease. Yeah, it happens. And yet our forefathers endured. Refusing that man on the one thing they all believed in so fervently. Has a schnoz. Freedom. Those brave a free men schnoz. From an inhospitable land, taming it and making it their own. But the wild land was not the only threat. The natives were a constant menace, lurking at their borders, always well, ready for battle. Don't impede into somebody else's land. That until borders were clearly established, peace would continue to be elusive. Nice little fort. Whoa, you must guy. Need the early settlers to establish Jamestown as a safe and prosperous settlement in this dangerous new world. From time to time, the British government will issue various missions to perform. As you complete these missions, oh, I'm the getting excited, guys. Of Jamestown will improve, and your influence throughout the whole of the new world will expand. Oh boy. Having survived the immediate threat posed by the native tribes. Your settlers have already gained valuable combat experience. Nice. Alright, so we got a mission. <clears throat> we need peasant farms. 500 gold for the treasure. That sounds pretty good. Let's build some peasant farms, huh? A message box will inform you when this building has been constructed. The number in the hourglass indicates how many turns remain before completion. Alright, how do we turn the camera? I want to spin the camera, although I guess it's not a big deal since I can't see anything. But still, I don't like this angle. There is often a choice <coughs> of types to construct in a resource slot. You can only follow one of these building chains. Once you have constructed the base building, subsequent upgrade options will only be available from the same chain. This is Jamestown. The Hooray! capital of the region of Virginia. The review panel at the bottom of the screen contains a recruitment tab and a construction tab. Use the recruitment Good tab boy. to recruit units for your army. This is your army. The highlighted area represents the extent to which this army can move army. this turn. Right click within this area to move Couple your army units to that of location. Militia. I guess that's just pretty much all I get, huh? Okay. Just move a little bit forward. And return. Peasant Farms has been constructed! 
<clears throat> and you've been given 500 gold! Fantastic. A new port. Nice. Uh, build a fishery. You got it. Um, let's see who... This tab shows all existing buildings in the selected town or city. Mouse over them to see what can yet be constructed. Right click on a picture well, to see its description. I want to see the right army that's clearly housed here. Oh no, and that's again, not an army. It. Never mind. Construction cost is displayed underneath. Construction time is shown in the top. Range of 70, area. accuracy of 40. Oh, these guys are way better. 442 I have to have my gamma set higher because for whatever reason when you record these things they they get darker so I set it higher so it looks more normal for you guys but I can't tell what the heck that says I'm assuming these cost more money unit into the recruitment queue. That unit got recruited. Let's do another. And let's upgrade this guy to a small tobacco plantation. New units nice. have been recruited. Left click to select Jamestown. Oh, you have successfully built a peasant farm and local fishery in the Jamestown region. I did. Jamestown should now grow and prosper. Fantastic. So it's time to deal with the threat from local native tribes. Your next compulsory mission is to capture the village of Werewakamako deep into unknown territory. Werewakamako? Hmm. Alright. There's no specific timeline on it. So that's good. I can just continue building my army. Uh, these guys are just better. We're going to keep making them. I have lots of money. Alright, tobacco is finished. We're just running through, picking up my militia. Since I have a lot of money. It's all profit, yo. Okay, so we've picked up as many of those type of militia as we can. Alright, let's select all. One of each. Move them out. Join up. Where Wakamako? You don't stand a chance. Alright, we're going to move our men over to the edge of our territory. And continue recruiting. Since we're still making money here. We're still, holy god, making so much money. That's a little ridiculous. Alright. We have so much. Let's go attack him. Prepare for war. I demand your surrender. Following capture of a capital city, it is important to leave an adequate garrison behind to quell unrest until both the population level and any damaged buildings are fully restored. Exempting the region from tax may also be helpful in the short term. Okay. Completed my mission. Oh, you have successfully captured the village of Werewakamoko and are well on to reducing the threat to Jamestown. The 